Welcome back to the AFT Construction YouTube channel. Today, we're talking something a little bit different. Last video was LSL versus LVL, talking about framing. But today, we're at the back of the house at Liberty Estate, and we're talking cold metal framing, the casita. Let's get it. Why cold metal framing? Wood framing has been the go-to for decades, but what if there was a stronger, straighter, and fire-resistant alternative? Enter cold metal framing. Whether you're working on a commercial build, a multifamily project, or even a high-end residential home, cold-formed steel framing offers precision, durability, and long-term cost savings. But is it the right choice for you? Let's break it down. What is cold metal framing? Also known as cold formed steel, CFS framing, is made by rolling thin sheets of steel into structural shape at room temperature, hence the cold formed name. Unlike traditional wood framing, CFS construction will not warp, shrink, it won't have any kind of rot issues. Now we're in Arizona, so obviously we have a really dry climate, but we still deal with wood rot and mold and all of those things, even though it's dry here. We're gonna have really straight walls and really, really durable and stable construction here for this casita or this pool house, as Brad calls it. Now, a really interesting thing to note though, and I think that this is why they're using steel frame construction here is it's more conducive to sound transfer. So there are gonna be some measures taken to reduce the transfer of sound. However, in this situation here, it being disconnected from the house or detached, this casita is going to be insulated, but the insulation properties with steel are different than wood and obviously ICF. Why are more builders switching to cold metal framing? Let's talk about the big advantages. Strength and stability. Unlike wood, steel won't warp, shrink, split over time, leading to straighter walls, fewer framing issues down the road. Fire resistance is a big one as well. Metal framing won't ignite or contribute to fire spread, making it a safer choice for multi-story buildings. This isn't going to be a multi-story casita. This is just the pool house. So this is just going to be an entertainment space. So in this situation, we're not going multi-level, but if you're looking at apartment complexes or hotels, steel frame construction is what they do almost every time along with ICF. Pest and moisture. So this right here, no termites are gonna come and be like, oh yeah, steel. We have subterranean termites here in Arizona and even though Brad and his team pre-treated for termites, we can't get rid of them indefinitely. We could treat the area, we could fix it for a duration of time, but ultimately they're gonna come back. I remember when I, so I live in central Phoenix and I put a piece of wood on the ground for one day, came back, turned it over and termites were throughout that piece of wood. We're not gonna have that problem here with this. So not only does it combat moisture really well, it also takes care of the termite problem that we have here in Arizona. So. With that being said, why don't we build with steel all of the time? Number two in this section is it's lightweight and easy to move. Now, a lot of this lumber is comparable in weight, but the thing is, is that this is actually pretty easy to maneuver that, you know, one or two guys can get this done. If you're building like a, a wall of wood construction inside of the house, you actually need several guys to, you know, Ro you know, roll up a wall into place. You could have one guy build it, but you have to have multiple people 
to get that vertical and into the right place. There's only two guys working on this and they're gonna go one piece at a time, which is gonna be really cool. And the last part of this, it's eco-friendly. So majority of the time, this is made from recycled materials. This is gonna be a better case scenario, especially for this pool house. So we're gonna press pause on this video because I wanna get a little bit further along in the construction of this pool house mainly because we're gonna talk thermal conductivity, sound transfer or sound transmission, and also insulating this space in future videos. But we're only right here, we're not that far along, so we're gonna hit pause. But one thing that I wanna do is ask you guys, is steel frame or cold CFS, cold frame construction right for your project? It's something to consider when you want something that's gonna be just as sturdy, durable, but the thing that it's going to do is protect against termites, it's gonna protect against moisture, and this stuff doesn't shrink or warp, which, I don't know, I kinda of just wanna tear my house down and build a steel-framed house where I live. Anyways, that's another time. Hey, thanks for sticking around with me. If you guys have any comments, hit that comment section below, hit the like button and hit subscribe because we truly appreciate you watching every video that comes out here at AFT. We'll see you next time.